those who took our sins on your body, oh God, anywhere. Stay silent, don't remain quiet. Open your mouth and begin to bless the Lord in this place. Begin to bless His holy name because He is alive in you. Because He gave you life by His death. And today we are standing in this place with the hope of eternity. Only because of what Jesus has done for us. We were so away from Him. We were strangers to His presence. But today He lives in us. Today unto us He is Emmanuel. Unto us today He is Yahweh Shama. And it is to Him that we lift up our praises. It is to Him that we are lifting up our worship, our adoration to You and to You alone, God. Yahweh Shama in this place. Yahweh Shama in this place. Yahweh Shama in this place. Yahweh Shama, You live in us. You bring, oh God, the manifested and revealed praises of our God in us. Yahweh Shama, take Your place, God. Take Your place, God. Rise up. Jehovah, rise up Jehovah and let all your enemies be, be scattered, let all your enemies be scattered God, if you are lifted up, you will draw all men unto you, you will draw an all men unto you and this morning in our worship we lift you up as we sing, oh Yahweh Yahweh, Shama Yahweh, Shama Yahweh, Shama Emmanuel, God in the midst of us God in us, God in every situation of our life. You reign, oh God. You reign, oh God. Take your place. Take your place. Take your place. Yahweh Shammai. Yahweh Shammai.
up, oh Lord. Rise up, rise up, oh God. Rise up, rise up, oh Lord. Rise up, rise up, oh God. Rise up, rise up, oh Lord. Rise up, rise up, Jehovah. Rise up, rise up.
he has received a name that is above every other name so that at the mention of the name of Jesus at the mention of the name of Jesus every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that he is Lord amen that he is Lord can we make a prayer right now for the couple for the next two minutes say God by the power of the name of Jesus I declare over my life that every situation that is not like God is buying down right now and is giving place to Jesus to take his place he's giving way to Jesus to take his place open your mouth and say God rise up in my heart as today we are celebrating the resurrection of Jesus in the word we want I want you personally God to be alive in me to be alive in me to take your place in me to live I want to live the resurrection of power of Jesus I want to live the resurrection power of Jesus in me in this church God we want to live the life of Jesus we want to live the power of the resurrection of Jesus in our lives we don't want to be uh, those Christians who go to Sunday every every week but still living a dead life in the entire week but we want the life of Jesus to be revealed to be revealed to be revealed in us to be revealed in us we want it to be revealed in us we want it to be revealed in us don't take this moment lightly say God I want to live the resurrection power of the Spirit of God in my life in my life in my life I want to live it I want to experience it and I want to be able to give it to others yes Lord take your place in me take your place in me in this church God we want to see the life of Jesus the life of Jesus taking place in our moment of gatherings we want to see Jesus in the center we want to live your life God change our mind change our mind change our mind because of your power because of your power if Jesus is alive then we are alive then we are alive then we are alive then our lives are still good that our life are still in good shape because the one who lives in us is stronger is bigger is bigger than the one who's in the word and it's by his power that we live in his word lifting up our head not being ashamed of who we are and of who we believe in Jesus is alive 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 thank you God we are not serving a dead God but our God is risen is risen and we proclaim the power of his resurrection to impact our lives to impact our lives to impact our lives last sunday we say that we want we don't want to simply go to church and go out with emotions but we want to be transformed whenever we come and it's happening right now i'm speaking to someone in this place who has been asking himself so many questions what does it look like what does it feel like to be in his presence to live a godly life today god is telling you if indeed it is true that jesus is risen died and rose again after, after three days if only you open your mouth and cry out to him he will come in your heart he will take place in you and you will live you will experience the resurrection power of his spirit it is not so far from you just like jesus said the kingdom of god is at hand it's at hand and it's up to you to manifest your thirst jesus is right there he's right there you want to change your life don't think that's the messed up life that you are living is what you are meant to be is what you are meant to live there is a life that is better that is bigger than what you see right now and jesus holds it in his hand jesus is that life open your heart to him open your heart to him he's about to transform you thank you god thank you lord thank you lord 
Thank you, Lord. Church, can you sing this part? Make it your declaration to the Lord. Say, God, I realize that I would have been lost somewhere in some part of the world if it wasn't for you in my life. I would have been still jobless if it wasn't for you. Maybe I would have been dead if it wasn't for you. So I say, where would I be? Where would I be? If you left me, God. If you left me. Can all the living people of God give praise to the Most High God in this place? Amen. Bear with me, I'm going to share some small scripture that we all know. In the book of Ezekiel, I think Ezekiel is, uh, chapter 37. We know that uh, scripture about the, the dry bones. The Bible says after Ezekiel prophesied on, on, on the dry bones and all, it became what? Flesh. Then at the end it said that they, it was like a Naomi. Amen. 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 So have you ever heard the, 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 the shout and the, the, the songs, the, the noise that a Naomi can make? Amen. You don't see them. But when they are marching, they are working towards you. You can feel that the world is shaking. You can feel that the world is trembling because there is a group of people who are alive, strong, and they have one focus in mind, and they are working towards it. So sometimes you don't even feel your situation. You don't, you don't know exactly what's going on, but still you fear. Amen. Does it happen to you? You don't know exactly what's going on in your career, in your health, but you are seized and taken by fear. You don't see it, but and sometimes too, you don't know exactly what's going on somewhere, but you feel like there is a noise that there are. I mean, I hear that the noise of 10,000 people somewhere. Maybe I hear that two people, two, three people are singing or talking somewhere. So my point is, today we are alive. Just like the dry bones, we are alive. And when we come back to life, we are like an army. Amen. We're not even going to fight. We have won the victory. And our shout today, our shout of joy, of victory. So church, please, can we stand wherever we are? We take this moment to, it's not about the shouting, no. You can shout for whatever reason you have. But realizing what Jesus has done, realizing that today you have the light that he came to give you. Can you open your mouth and give him praise in this place? Put your hands together and give him a living praise in this place. Give him a living praise, a living praise, a living praise. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Come on, give him praise. 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 Jesus is alive. Jesus is alive. Jesus is alive. He's alive. He died on the rose again. He's alive. He's alive. He's alive. Rejoice. Rejoice! Rejoice in Him! Rejoice in His presence! He's alive! He's alive! He's alive! He's alive! He's alive! He's alive! It is finished! He's alive! Jesus is alive! He's alive! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! 
We're not supposed to sing this song, but just for two seconds. I'm gonna dance with Jesus. I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win.
Of our praise, of our worship, we praise your holy name. You died and rose again for our sake, God. There is nobody who can do the things that you do, God. There is nobody who can be compared, who can be measured to who you are. Nothing in this world, oh God, can ever satisfy the thirst and the love that we have for you. Oh Lord, receive it all, receive it all. Receive it all, receive it all. I praise you, Lord. I praise you, Lord. I praise you, Lord. Yeah. We praise your name, oh God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We praise you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. Oh, we praise you, Lord. Yeah, yeah. Receive. Praise God, you deserve our worship. You deserve our worship. Hallelujah! 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 Your house, some praises is in this place, God. It is unto you that we bow, it is unto you that we sing our song of gratefulness. Can you simply give him praise? Can you simply worship him in this place? Great are you, Lord. Great are you, Lord. Greatly to be praised. Worthy to be praised. Deserving all the glory, all the honor. It all belongs to you. Yes, God. Yes, Lord. Yes, God. In the can you just open your heart and worship him in this place? Holy, holy, come on. God Almighty. It's a privilege to even stand in your presence. It's a privilege to worship. You're the maker of the whole universe. Maker of the honor to even call you father it's an honor just to stand before holy holy he deserves it he is holy god almighty it's a privilege to it's a privilege to worship maker of the universe yes you are Yes, God. And with a grateful heart, I lift my hands to you. With a grateful heart, I lift my hands to you. Proclaiming, Lord, you reign. Proclaiming, Lord, you reign. With a grateful heart, I lift my hands to you. With a grateful heart, I lift my hands to you. Proclaiming, Lord, you reign. Proclaiming, Lord, you reign. Ready to be praised. Ready to be praised. 
Holy, holy, God Almighty, God Almighty, it's a privilege to worship you, Lord. It's a privilege to worship you, Maker of the universe, that's who you are, that's who you are, that's who you are, that's who you are. It's another for me, God. It's another chance to stand before. Holy, 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 holy. God of glory, Father of glory, that's who you are. Father, we worship you. Father, we worship you, maker of the universe. By your word, you created everything, heaven and earth, by the power of your word. So we for grateful heart to lift my hands to you, Lord. We for grateful heart to lift my hands to you. Proclaiming, Lord, you reign, Lord, you reign. With a grateful heart, Lord. With a grateful heart, I lift my hands to you. Proclaiming, Lord, you reign. Proclaiming, Lord, you reign. Lord, you reign. Lord, yeah, yeah. Most high God, sing it to the mighty warrior, our commander in chief. He has never lost a battle. Whatever he says comes to pass. Great are you, Lord, our King. You fill your temple with your glory, and the whole world, oh God, is sustained by the power of your hands. Can you go beyond the song? Est-ce que peux-tu aller au-delà du chant? Can you go beyond the song? Peux-tu aller au-delà du chant? 
We are not here to worship Christ. Nous ne sommes pas ici pour adorer Christ. Just because it's Resurrection Sunday. Seulement parce que c'est un dimanche de Pâques. Is he great in your life? Est-ce qu'il est grand dans ta vie? Is he great in your life today? Est-ce qu'il est grand dans ta vie aujourd'hui? Do you know him as your Lord, your Lord and Savior? Est-ce que tu le connais comme étant ton Seigneur et ton Sauveur? Today is just a day. Aujourd'hui c'est ce n'est qu'un jour. But is he real in your life? Mais est-ce qu'il est réel dans ta vie? Is he alive in your life? Est-ce qu'il est vivant dans ta vie? If it is so, can you just lift your hands up? Si c'est le cas, peux-tu juste lever ta main? Just forget about who is beside you. Oublie, ne t'occupe pas de ton voisin. Don't think about it. Ne, ne, ne pense pas, ne t'occupe can pas de lui. Can you just raise your voices and say, God, I thank you. Élève ta voix et dis, Seigneur, je te rends grâce. You are so great in my life. Tu es tellement grand dans ma vie. That you have reached out to me. Que tu es venu vers moi. That 2,000 years ago. Il y a 2,000 ans. You rose from the dead. Tu es ressuscité d'entre les morts. You conquered death. Tu as vaincu la mort. And you gave me victory. Et tu m'as donné la victoire. And through you I have access. Et à travers toi j'ai l'accès. To the Father. Au Père. And I can stand here with boldness. Et je peux me tenir avec assurance. Not because of what I have done. Pas à cause de ce que j'ai fait. But because of who you are in my life. Mais à cause de qui tu es dans ma vie. Church, can you just lift your hands and Est-ce say? Est-ce que peux-tu lever ta main? Thank you Jesus. Et Dieu merci à Jésus. Be alive in my life. Sois vivant dans ma vie. Father change me from the inside out. Père change-moi de l'intérieur vers l'extérieur. Every situation that is dead in me. Toute situation qui est morte dans ma vie. Bring it back to life again. Est-ce que tu ramènes à la vie? All the words that have been spoken against me. Toutes les paroles qui ont été prononcées contre moi. All the words Toutes les paroles that were meant to put me down. Qui étaient censés me rabaisser. Father, you come into my life and Père, bring it back to life again. Et ramène à la vie ce chose. As Ezekiel spoke Alors and Ezekiel the dry bones came back to a, life. A parlé aux ossements desséchés et ça a repris vie. That flesh and sinews came upon them. Et la chair a couvert ses os. I pray God that the same will happen to situations in my life. Père, je prie que la même chose se passe dans les situations de ma vie. That not only will I see the dry bones being lifted up. Est-ce que non seulement que je vois les ossements des échecs I will see flesh and life. Mais je verrai aussi la chair et la vie. Can you believe that today? Peux-tu le croire aujourd'hui? We can stand here only because Christ is alive. Nous pourrons être des bons seuls parce que Christ est vivant. But let it not just be a ritual. Mais que ce ne soit pas seulement un rituel. You know the the intellectual knowledge. Vous savez cette connaissance intellectuelle. That I know Christ rose from the dead. De, de savoir que Christ est ressuscité d'entre les morts. Make it a personal experience. Mais fais ce que ça une expérience personnelle. That God, I know you rose from the dead for me. Que Dieu, tu es ressuscité d'entre les morts pour Exclusively moi. for me. Exclusivement pour moi. To cleanse me. Pour me purifier. To wash me from my sin. Pour me nettoyer de mes péchés. To give me victory over every situation. Pour me donner la victoire sur toute situation. Father God, I pray, Master. Père, je prie. That you will bring all the dead situations back to life again. Que tu amènes à la vie toutes les situations mortes. That you will do a new thing in this church. Que tu feras de nouvelles choses dans cette église. That you will do a new thing in our lives. Que tu feras de nouvelles choses dans nos vies. In each and every one of our lives. Dans chacune de nos vies. Thank you, Jesus. Merci, Jésus. As you remain standing, we go into the promises of God. Alors que nous restons debout, nous allons proclamer les promesses de Dieu. As we repeat these promises. Alors que nous répétons ces promesses. I urge you to reflect back on your life. Je t'exhorte à réfléchir sur ta vie. Think about all the dry areas in your life. Pense à toutes les zones qui sont sèches dans ta vie. Jesus came to give life. Jésus est venu donner sa vie. And I urge you to speak and declare life over those situations. Et je t'exhorte à déclarer la vie sur cette situation. We are more than conquerors through Christ. Nous sommes plus que vainqueurs. Do you really Christ. believe that? Est-ce que tu le crois? Church, can you repeat after me? Tu le après moi? No weapon formed against me shall prosper. For my righteousness is of the Lord. 
Church, speak life into your life. Déclare la vie dans ta vie. Speak life. Déclare la vie. Speak life. Déclare la vie. Amen. But whatever I do will prosper. For I am like a tree that is planted by the rivers of water. Christ has redeemed me from the curse of the law. Therefore I forbid any sickness or any disease to come upon my body. Are you afflicted in your in your health today? Christ died that you would be set free. By his stripes we are healed. Can you believe that as we speak today? Every disease germ and every virus that touches my body dies instantly in the name of Jesus. Every organ and every tissue of my body functions to the perfection to which God created it to function. It is true unto me, according to the word of God, the Lord will perfect that which concerneth me. In all my ways, I will acknowledge him and he directs my path. The peace of God, which passes all understanding, keeps my heart and my mind through Christ Jesus. I let the peace of God rule in my heart and I refuse to worry about anything. I let the peace of God rule in my heart and I refuse to worry about anything. I will not let the word of God depart from before my eyes for it is life to me. For it is life to me. I have found it It is health and healing to all my flesh. God is on my side. God is in me now. Who can be against me? He has given unto me all things that pertain to this life and godliness. Therefore, I am a partaker of his divine nature. Can you give the Lord a clap of it today? Amen. Amen. Please be seated. On peut se rasseoir. We go into the announcements for today. Nous allons passer au communiqué. First of all, do we have any first timers in Zion today? Y a-t-il Anyone who's visiting us for the first time? Qui est ici pour sa première fois? Anyone who's come here for the first time, can you please raise your hands? Hi, so that our ushers can see it. Pour que les protocoles te voient. Church, can you give a welcome to Our visitors today. Amen. We believe Amen. that you've come here not by coincidence. As our ushers give you a form, we request you to fill it up and give it back to us so that we could connect with you. Amen. Amen. For the last... Uh, Uh, on, on Good Friday as well as last week, we've announced about baptism. Those of you who have not, not yet obeyed the Lord in baptism through immersion, if you would like to know more about baptism, or you've been thinking about baptism, I request you to kindly give your names. Sister Janet will be there at the foyer. At the end of the service, Après le culte. Janet, could you just stand up for a moment so that they know who you are? That's Sister Janet. C'est la sœur Jeannette. So please go and give your names to her. Alors allez vers elle et donnez votre nom. If you would like to know more. Si vous voulez connaître plus sur le baptême. On Tuesday. Et le mardi. We have our youth meeting. Nous avons notre rencontre de jeunes. We call it YET. Nous appelons cela YET. Youth empowered to succeed. Les jeunes habilités à, à réussir. At 6:30 p.m. À 18h30. So if you feel you're young. Et tu sens que tu es encore jeune. And if you could make the time. Et si tu peux disposer de ton temps. I request you to come and be a part of this. Je t'encourage à venir et à prendre part. It's a very informal setting. C'est un moment très formel. We have discussions. Nous avons des moments de discussion. We have games. Nous avons des jeux. 
We have uh, dramas and skits. Nous avons des moments de théâtre. But all centered and built around. Mais tout cela sont centrés. Building up in Christ. Sur building bâtir, us up in Christ. Nous bâtir nous-mêmes en Christ. Amen. Amen. So I request you, if you're young, if you can make time, doesn't matter if you're married, not married, single. Alors je t'encourage si tu sois encore jeune, marié ou pas. Please come. Viens ce jour-là. On Wednesday, et le mercredi, we have the Bible study at 6:30 p.m. Nous avons l'étude biblique à 18h30. We are going through a series where we explore Christ through the Old Testament. Nous avons un enseignement de sens de découvrir Christ à travers l'Ancien Testament. As Pastor Stephen had said, comme le pasteur Stephen l'a dit, that when Jesus was going through uh, the the road to Emmaus with his disciples, alors que Jésus était sur le chemin des Maïs avec he revealed himself through the Old Testament. Il s'est révélé lui-même à travers l'Ancien Testament. And that's what we are learning. Et c'est ça que nous sommes en train d'apprendre. So I urge you, please make time and come for this. Alors je t'encourage aussi à disposer de ton temps et venir ce jour-là. It's good to get founded on the Word of God. C'est très bien d'être enraciné dans la parole de Dieu. It's from 6:30 p.m. to about 8, 8:30. Ça commence à 18h30 jusqu'à 20h. So please make time and come for this. Alors veuillez être là. Yeah, that's it with the announcements. Amen. I'll hand it over to Pastor. God is good. All the time. Can you reach out to five people around you and just tell them God is good? Je vais cinq personnes leur dire Dieu est bon. High five somebody, shake somebody's hand. If they're C'est sleeping, pour... shake them up. Wake them. <laughs> Amen. Once again, it's a privilege and a pleasure to be with you in the house of God. C'est un privilège d'être dans la maison de Dieu. How many of you are happy to be in the house of God this morning? Qui sont heureux d'être dans la maison de Dieu ce matin? Can you can you shout for Jesus? Peux-tu pousser un cri de joie pour Jésus? Yeah, that's more like it. Amen. Amen. We're going to go into a time of communion this morning. Nous allons passer notre moment de communion. But this is such an amazing day. C'est un jour merveilleux. Because the world around celebrates the fact. Of the risen Christ. Parce que le monde entier célèbre le fait de la résurrection du Christ. It is not a myth. It is not just some theology we believe, but it's a fact established. Ce n'est pas un mythe ou une théologie, mais c'est un fait établi. That Jesus is risen. Que Jésus est ressuscité. And because he is risen. Et parce qu'il est ressuscité. Every word that he has spoken. Toute parole qu'il a déclarée. We can accept it and receive it and believe it for our lives. Nous pourrons la recevoir, l'accepter et la croire pour nos vies. Amen. Because there's so many people that can be born. Parce qu'il y a beaucoup de gens qui peuvent naître. That lived a good life. Vivre une vie heureuse. Spoke a good message. Dire des bons messages. Did everything well. Et faire toutes choses comme il est faux. But only Jesus had the power to raise from the grave. Mais il n'y a que Jésus qui a eu le pouvoir de ressusciter d'entre les morts. That's what makes him God. Et c'est ce qui fait de lui Dieu. Hallelujah. Amen. And that's the one that we've come to celebrate this morning. Et c'est lui pour qui nous sommes là. Celebrate in our lives. Célébrer dans nos vies. So we're going to go to our time of our communion this morning. Alors on va passer au moment de communion ce matin. And the reason why uh, this is so important for us to understand. Et la raison pour laquelle c'est important pour nous de le comprendre. Because what he did on the cross. Parce que ce qu'il a fait à la croix. And what he did by rising from the grave. Et ce qu'il a fait en ressuscitant d'entre les morts. Gives us the hope. Nous donne l'espérance. And the, and the confidence et la confidence to face whatever we are facing today d'affronter tout ce que nous affrontons aujourd'hui because the god that we serve is alive parce que le dieu que nous servons est the vivant the god that we serve is powerful le dieu que nous servons est très puissant the god that we serve is on the throne le dieu que nous servons est sur le trône and as long as he's on the throne et aussi longtemps qu'il est sur son trône we can walk in victory nous pourrons marcher dans la victoire and there's nobody none like him and none can be like him ever et il n'y a personne comme lui et personne ne sera comme lui that can be compared to his majesty personne ne peut être comparé à sa majesté that can be compared to his glory. Ni moi sa gloire. That is the God that we serve. C'est le Dieu que nous servons. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So we're going to just take a moment to this morning. Nous allons prendre un moment ce matin. Because what makes this day special? Parce qu'il fait de ce jour spécial. Most of the people, you know, we have some they, they celebrate uh 
uh, this day with an egg. C'est vrai beaucoup de gens célèbrent ce, ce jour avec un œuf. With a chocolate egg and they call it the Easter egg. Avec des, des chocolats à l'intérieur, ils appellent euh, l'œuf de Pâques. But not, what makes this day special is not the breaking of the egg. Mais ce qui fait de ce jour spécial, ce n'est pas le fait qu'on va briser l'œuf. But the moving of the gravestone. Mais c'est l'enroulement de ce de, de cette de cette pierre qui a couvert la tombe. That is the power of the resurrection day. C'est ça la puissance de la résurrection. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 So we're going to spend some time and the worship team will lead us in a moment. But moment. communion is such a powerful ordination. La communion, elle est tellement puissante. Because what he says que ce que Jésus a dit, is that what I did for the cross, il a dit ce que j'ai fait à la croix, I established it je, j'ai établi cela in my resurrection. Dans ma résurrection. Hallelujah. Amen. He says, I have taken your sin on my body. Il a dit, j'ai pris ton péché sur mon corps. He said, I have taken your sickness on my body. Il a dit, j'ai pris ta maladie sur mon I've corps. Taken your failures on me. J'ai pris tes échecs sur moi. I've taken your mocking on me. J'ai pris tes moqueries sur I've moi. I've taken your judgment on me. J'ai pris tes jugements sur moi. Hallelujah. Amen. And what gives us the hope? Est-ce que dans l'espérance? Is that I've put it all under my feet. C'est que j'ai tout mis uh, sous mes pieds. And I've established your position. Et je t'ai établi dans ta position. In my resurrection. Dans ma résurrection. So when we partake of the body of Christ. Quand nous prenons part à la table du Christ. We remember. Nous nous rappelons. That the, though we may be afflicted right now, que bien que nous though you might be weak right now, bien que tu sois faible though you might be sick right now, bien que tu sois but maintenant. he says that by the stripes on my body I have taken your sickness. Par je te la you don't have to walk in fear of curses and failures. Tu pas peur des ou des because he des said I have taken your curse on my body Parce on the cross. J'ai pris ta sur mon corps à so, la croix. so that you can walk in victory. Pour que tu Hallelujah. Amen. And he said, I have spilt my blood for you. Et il a dit que j'ai versé mon sang pour toi. The only thing that was worthy to wipe your sin away. La seule chose qui était digne de, de nettoyer tes péchés. So that when you stand before God, pour que nous puissions nous tenir devant Dieu, God sees you through the blood of Christ. Dieu te voit à travers le sang de Jésus. And that's why he says you can come boldly in my presence. Voilà pourquoi il a dit tu peux venir avec assurance dans ma présence. Because my blood justifies you. Parce que mon sang te justifie. My blood makes you whole before God. Mon sang te purifie devant Dieu. My blood purifies you. Mon sang te purifie. So it is not just a Christian tradition that we partake of communion. Ce n'est pas une, une tradition chrétienne de prendre part à la communion. It is a reminder of your position in Christ. C'est un rappel de ta position en Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. So even as we just wait upon the on the Lord this morning. Alors que nous attendons au Seigneur ce matin. You might be a visitor with us this morning. Peut-être tu es venu juste pour ta première fois aujourd'hui. But if you are born again, receive Jesus into your heart. Mais si tu es né de nouveau et tu as accepté Christ dans ton cœur. You are already family. Tu es déjà une famille. Amen. Amen. So as we partake of it as family. Alors que nous prenons part à cette communion comme une famille. I want you to take a moment for yourself. Je voudrais que tu prennes un temps pour toi-même. Because you might be going through some situations which you think is impossible. Peut-être tu es en train de traverser une situation qui te paraît impossible. But the Bible says. Mais la Bible dit. Nothing is impossible for God. Rien n'est impossible à Dieu. He's taken all your failures on His body. Il a pris tous tes échecs. And he's given you the victory in his resurrection. Et t'as donné la victoire à travers la résurrection. And the Bible says in 1 Corinthians. Il a dit dans 1 Corinthiens. Do this in remembrance of me. Faites ceci en mémoire de moi. Do this in remembrance of what I did for you. Faites ceci en mémoire de ce que j'ai fait pour toi. Not just the suffering. Pas seulement les souffrances. But also the victory. Mais aussi la victoire. Do this in remembrance. So as you just take a moment for yourself. Alors que tu prends un moment pour toi-même. Say God, I know in my own strength I don't have what it takes. Dis Seigneur, de ma propre force je n'ai pas tout ce que tout ce que ça demande. God, I have slipped up so many times. J'ai longtemps chuté. I've messed up so many times. J'ai longtemps gâché. I'm hurting. Je suis blessé. But this morning as I stand in your presence. Mais ce matin alors que je me tiens dans ta présence. I thank you Lord that my hope is not in my situation changing. Merci, merci parce que mon espoir n'est pas seulement dans ma situation. But my hope is in a God that never changes. Mon espérance est dans le Dieu qui ne change pas. You have established me even before the foundations of the earth. Tu m'as établi avant la fondation du monde. You were slain even before the foundations of the earth. Tu as été même immolé avant le fondement du monde. You have loved me even before I was formed in my mother's womb. Tu m'as aimé avant que je ne sois formé dans le sein 
tiens de ma mère. And that is the confidence that I stand with this morning. Telle est l'assurance que j'ai ce matin. That if my God is for me. Que si mon Dieu m'a formé. No one can be against personne me. Personne ne peut être contre moi. No weapon can, that is formed against me can ever prosper. Aucune des armes forgées contre moi ne peut prospérer. Because the God that I serve. Parce que le Dieu que je sers. Is not lying in a tomb. Il n'est pas dans la dans le tombeau. But is risen on the throne. Mais il est ressuscité sur son trône. And he reigns in glory. Et il règne dans sa gloire. So I thank you this morning. Alors je te dis merci ce matin. Even as you're going to partake of the communion. Alors que nous prenons part à cette communion. I like you to stand to your feet so the usher will serve you. Je te tiens debout pour que les protocoles te But servent. take this with reverence. Mais prends cela avec révérence. Take the communion with expectation. Prends la communion avec des attentes. Take the communion with anticipation. Prends avec anticipation. Not just because it's a ritual. Pas seulement c'est juste un rituel. But it's because through this ordination. Mais à travers cette ordination you remember tu te rappelles the God that you serve que le Dieu que tu sers is victorious est and because he is victorious parce est victorieux, you are victorious tu l'es aussi because you live in him parce que tu vis en lui. so I thank you Lord Alors, merci, Seigneur. thank you Jesus merci, Père. even as the team is about to sing alors que la chorale va nous guider. Father, I pray a blessing over the ornaments this morning. Père, je déclare une bénédiction sur les éléments. The bread that we are about to take off. Le pain que nous allons prendre. This wine that we are about to take off. Et le vin que nous allons boire. I thank you that chains this morning are broken. Merci parce que les chaînes sont brisées. I thank you that hope is being restored. Merci parce que l'espoir est restauré. I thank you that lives are being transformed. Les vies sont transformées. For your glory. Pour ta gloire. We thank you and we stand in awe of your love for us this morning. Merci parce que nous tenons dans la crainte de ton amour. We give you the glory, Lord. Nous tenons l'amour, la gloire. Hallelujah. Amen. The head I was was crowned with thorns, is crowned with glory now. The Savior nailed to a shining feet, now at His feet we. Victory, the resurrected King. The 
body there would not remain. Our God has robbed the grave. Our God has robbed the grave. Your name, your name is victory. A place where I Verse 23, it says, For I received from the Lord what I, what I also delivered to you. That the Lord Jesus, on the same night, when he was betrayed, he took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and he said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Let's partake of the bread. And in the same way, Amen. also he took the cup after supper saying, that this cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it. In remembrance of me. Let's partake. Hallelujah. Amen. As you're about to take your seat this morning, Alors que tu veux te ce matin, can you just turn to someone next to you and say, peux -tu tourner vers ton voisin lui dire, My Jesus is alive. Mon Jésus est vivant. My the resurrected King. Mon roi ressuscité. The right, resurrected King. The roi ressuscité. This is your composition, right? It's a cover. Okay. So that's actually put together by Miche. So I think we should appreciate him. God has given him a great challenge. And a gift which God, which is using for his glory. Amen. Amen. I just wanted to give you like two seconds to rest because I know y'all are very people get very tired very easily. Are you rested? Just check with your neighbor. Are you rested? If you're rested, that's great because we're going to go to a time of our giving this morning. Just to get your, just to make sure that you have enough exercise and standing and sitting today. As the worship team will lead us in our time of giving. As you take your tithe, your offering, your seed in your hand, we're just going to pray over it. And then we're going to celebrate. Because giving is a form of worship Parce que est une forme and worship is celebrating who your God is. Amen. Amen. So we're going to celebrate God this morning one more time before we go into the word. So I want you to just take your, your tithe, your offering. If you, there's envelopes being passed on, if you need an envelope, just put up your hand. 
Alors j'aimerais que tu prennes ton offrande. Si tu as besoin d'une enveloppe, lève ta main. Il y a And one of our ushers will find you somehow. Les porteurs qui vont te donner l'enveloppe. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So as you take your offering in your hand, let's pray. Prions pour l'offrande. Father, we just want to speak a blessing over the offering this morning. Père, nous déclarons la bénédiction sur les offrandes that ce every, matin. Every tithe, every offering, every seed that is being planted in your kingdom chaque dîme, chaque offrande qui sera dans ton will royaume. bring forth a fruit and the fruit will multiply and 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 spread father. Va porter les fruits et les fruits vont se multiplier. I thank you Lord that you've given us this privilege. Merci pour ce privilège. To be partakers of the kingdom with you. De prendre part à ce royaume avec toi. And the blessing that you poured into our lives. Et les bénédictions que tu déverses dans nos vies. We release it into your kingdom Lord. Le relâche dans ton royaume. That you will use it to, to to reach out to the lives that are lost. Que tu utilises pour aller vers les perdus. And hurting et ceux qui sont blessés. And Father, I thank you for every heart that is sowing today. Merci pour chaque cœur qui sème aujourd'hui. And because and we continue to speak a blessing upon their lives. Et nous continuons à déclarer les bénédictions upon sur leurs vies. Upon their families, upon their provisions. Sur leurs familles et provisions. And may you continue to use them to be a blessing in your kingdom. Continuons à les utiliser pour être une bénédiction pour ton royaume. We give you all the glory. Te donnons toute la gloire. All the honor. Toute la gloire, l'honneur. And all the praise. Et la louange. Somebody shout Amen. 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 And the worship team will lead us, and then. You just have a wonderful time just praise the God. Amen, amen, amen. Can we all stand up and celebrate our king? Amen. 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 There's no one like Jehovah. Amen. amen. Tendere, 
de Jésus. Et je pense qu'il y a des gens ressuscités maintenant au nom de Jésus. Amen. 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 Autant que nous célébrons la résurrection de Jésus aujourd'hui, cela est arrivé par coïncidence que quelque chose est en train de coïncider avec cette fête. C'est un événement que le monde célèbre aujourd'hui aussi. Est-ce que vous connaissez c'est quoi l'autre événement? Poisson d'avril. Alléluia. April Fool's Day. C'est la journée du poisson d'avril. Has anybody made you an April Fool today? I already heard a few amen, so yes, I guess some of the. <laughs> Alléluia. Ok, il y a un qui est parqué devant la grille, donc je pense qu'ils ont besoin de le mouvre. Il y a quelqu'un qui a parqué sa voiture devant la grille, alors s'il peut aller sortir pour... Et laissez-moi vous dire quelque chose, ce n'est pas un prank d'April Fool. Laissez-moi vous dire que ce n'est pas un prank d'April Fool. Il y a vraiment un car parqué devant la grille. Il y a une voiture qui est parquée juste devant la grille. Que nous devons mouvre. Qui doit être déplacée. Amen. Amen. Alléluia. Amen. Does anybody know how did this April Fool's Day ever come about? Est-ce que quelqu'un sait d'où est venue cette fête de ou bien cette célébration de poisson d'avril? Very interesting. C'est très intéressant. It was actually started by the Pope. Ça a commencé par un pape. Did anybody know that? Est-ce que vous connaissez cela? Pope Gregory the 13th. C'était un pape dans les années 13. In 1582. Dans euh, 1582. The rest of it I'll let you Google. Et vous pouvez aller sur Google, vous allez trouver cela. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. But for the purpose of today. Et avant uh, le but de ce jour. I would like to title this message. Je me rétitrerai ce message. April Fool. Poisson d'avril. <laughs> yes, I know. When I when when I got this title, I myself started laughing. Parce que quand j'ai donné ce titre, moi-même, je étais en train de rigoler. But as usual, I'm going to open with a question. Mais comme d'habitude, je vais commencer avec une question. Today we are all celebrating Resurrection Sunday. C'est vrai que nous célébrons tous la, le dimanche de résurrection. We shout rejoicingly that our Savior has risen. Nous poussons des cris déjà parce que notre Sauveur est ressuscité. But what does the resurrection of Christ really mean to you? Mais c'est quoi le sens qu'a la résurrection du Christ dans ta vie? What does the resurrection of Christ signify to you Quel est le sens qu'a la résurrection du Christ dans ta vie Something I want you to think about Quelque chose sur lequel j'aimerais que vous puissiez réfléchir Because as we progress through this message Parce que alors que nous continuons avec ce message We're going to hear things Nous allons entendre des choses That will make us realize Qui vont nous faire réaliser If we are 
the real fools or not. Si vous, nous sommes euh, réellement des insensés ou pas. You see, all through history, vous savez, à travers l'histoire, people have been pranking each other April Fool gens, every time this day comes about. On y a fait ce jeu à chaque fois que c'était le 1er avril, le poisson d'avril. And we wonder why does this happen? Et nous demandons pourquoi cela se passe. It's probably the only day we could probably laugh it off with humor. C'est probablement le, le, le jour où les gens mentent et rigolent par rapport à cela. But we are here today remembering the resurrection of Christ. Mais nous sommes là ce jour pour nous rappeler de la résurrection du Christ. But sadly to say, mais c'est triste à dire, to many it is just a tradition. Que pour beaucoup d'entre nous c'est juste une tradition. And not really a reality in their life. Mais pas vraiment une réalité dans leur vie. That's why I ask the question. Voilà pourquoi je pose cette question. What does the resurrection of Christ really signify to you? Quel est le sens qu'a la résurrection du Christ dans ta vie? You see when we read your Bibles. Vous voyez quand vous lisez vos Bibles. Right from Genesis. Partant du livre de Genèse. You see that the devil vous voyez que le diable has been desperately trying to prevent the birth of Christ. A été à, à essayer de tout, tous ses efforts pour essayer d'empêcher la naissance de Jésus. Right through till the day Jesus was born, he tried his very best to prevent Jesus from being born. Partant du jour où Jésus était né, il a, il a fait de son mieux pour empêcher la naissance de, de Dieu. What caused this desperation within him? Qu'est-ce qui a causé ce, uh, ce, le fait d'être de, de, désespéré pour empêcher la naissance de Christ? What made him want to work so hard to make it? Impossible for this to happen. Qu'est-ce qui a fait ce qui travaille durement pour empêcher la naissance de Jésus? When it begins right there in the Garden of Eden. Tout a commencé dans le jardin d'Eden. In Genesis chapter 3 verses 15. Dans Genèse 3 15. After the fall of man. Après la chute de l'homme. God tells the devil. Dieu dit au diable. That I will put enmity between you and the woman. Je mettrai une limite entre toi et la femme. Between your seed and her seed. Entre ta postérité et sa postérité. He will bruise your head. And you will bruise his heel. Et tu lui briseras le talon. This shook the devil in with, within him. Cela a secoué le diable. He was determined to ensure that this did not happen. Il était déterminé de d'empêcher la naissance de Jésus. So what does he do? Alors qu'est-ce qu'il a fait? He begins trying to corrupt the bloodline of the human race. Il a commencé à, à, à corrompre toute la lignée de la race humaine. And he is at the verge of succeeding. Et il était sur le point de réussir. But then God finds one man faithful before him. Et c'est là que Jésus a trouvé un homme qui était fidèle devant lui. A man named Moses. I mean, yeah. Noah. Un, 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 un homme uh, qui, qui était appelé Noé. The Bible says he, he found favor in the sight of God. La Bible dit qu'il a trouvé faveur devant le, les, les yeux de Dieu. And God speaks to Noah. Et Dieu a parlé à Noé. And tells Noah to build an ark. Et a demandé à Noé de, 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 de construire l'arche. Noah was the last of the pure bloodline at that time. Et Noé était celui qui était pur par rapport à cette lignée. And Noah takes a hundred years to build that ark. Et Noé a pris cent ans pour bâtir l'arche. And all through this time. Et à, à travers ce temps, all the neighbors, all his friends, everyone is mocking Noah and his family. Tous ses frères, ses voisins se moquaient de Noé. To the point that even the devil considered considered it as a big joke. And uh, jusqu'au point où le diable a considéré comme étant un amusement. Why? Pourquoi? Because even the devil had not seen rain at that point of time. Parce que même le diable, il continue toujours à régner jusqu'à ce moment-là. So he had no idea what was about to take place. Alors il n'avait, il n'avait aucune idée par rapport à ce qui se préparait. But God knew exactly what he was doing. Mais Dieu savait ce qu'il était en train de faire. And when the time was right. Et quand le temps était arrivé. God preserved Noah and his family. Dieu a préservé Noé et sa famille. And guess who was left as a fool at that point. Et maintenant, devinez qui était euh, laissé comme étant un insensé par rapport à ce temps. Anybody would like to guess who was left as a joke at that point of time. Qui, alors qui était comme étant insensé par rapport à ce temps-là. It was the devil. C'était le diable. Hallelujah. Amen. It was the devil. C'était le diable. And this made him furious. Et cela l'a rendu furieux. So what does he do? Alors qu'est-ce qu'il a fait? After Noah and his family comes down out of the ark. A, a, après que uh, Noé et sa famille sortent de l'arche. And God gives them the commission to go and populate the earth. Et Dieu leur a donné la commission d'aller remplir la terre. He makes a decision. Il a pris une décision. That this time I will not fail. Il a dit cette fois-ci je vais pas échouer. So once again he tries to corrupt the entire human race. Alors encore une fois il a essayé de corrompre toute la race humaine. And this goes on for a few centuries. Et cela a pris uh, plus d'un siècle. If you read your Bible you hear about 
giants and various things in the land. Si vous lisez les bleus, vous entendez parler des géants et des différentes personnes par rapport à ces terres. But then a time comes. Et le temps est venu. When God speaks to his, one of his prophets. Quand Dieu a parlé à l'un de ses prophètes. By the name of Nathan. Le nom à uh, Nathan. And he tells him to go and tell his his son David a special prophecy. Et lui a dit d'aller uh, de donner cette prophétie à, à, à David. At the time David is king of Israel. Le moment où David était le roi sur Israël. And we read in 2 Samuel chapter 7. Et nous lisons dans 2 Samuel chapitre 7. Verses 8 and 9. Verses 8 and 9. And then going down to 12 and 13. Jusqu'à 12 et 13. And this is what he says. Et c'est ce qu'il dit. And now therefore say, and and therefore thus Shall you say to my servant David? Maintenant tu diras mon serviteur David. Thus say the Lord of hosts. Ainsi parle l'Éternel des armées. I took you from the sheepfold. Je t'ai pris au pâturage. From following the sheep. Derrière les brebis. To be ruler over my people over Israel. Pour que tu fusses le chef sur mon peuple. And I've been with you wherever you have gone. J'ai été avec toi partout tu as marché. And I've cut off the enemies before you. J'ai exterminé tous tes ennemis devant toi. And I've made you a great name. Et j'ai rendu ton nom grand. Like the name of great men who are on the earth comme le nom des grands qui sont sur la terre and going down 12 and 13 et 12 et 13 when your days are fulfilled quand tes jours seront accomplis and you rest with your fathers et que tu seras couché avec tes pères i will set up your seed after you je lèverai ta postérité après toi who will come from your body celui qui sera sorti de tes entrailles and i will establish his kingdom et j'affermirai son règne he will build a house for my name ce sera lui qui bâtira une maison en mon nom and i will establish the throne of his kingdom forever. Et j'affirmerai pour toujours le trône de son royaume. Immediately the devil set up. Et soudainement le diable se présentait. He began taking notice. Il a commencé à, à écrire cela. This is dangerous. Il a dit c'est dangereux. God is saying something here. Dieu est en train de dire certaines choses ici. I need to do something about it. Je dois faire quelque chose sur ça. I've tried corrupting humanity but it's not working. J'essaie de corrompre l'humanité mais ça n'a pas réussi. Something is happening. Quelque chose se prépare. So he began strategizing. Ah, il a commencé à planifier des stratégies. He begins thinking how is he going to destroy this world. Il a commencé à réfléchir sur comment détruire ce plan. And he begins studying David carefully. Et il a commencé à étudier uh, minutieusement la vie de David. The same thing he does for each and every one of us. La même chose qu'il est en train de faire dans la vie de chacun d'entre nous. Looking for weakness in our armor. Cherchant nos faiblesses dans nos vies. And then he finds one area of weakness with David. Et il a trouvé un point de faiblesse dans la vie de David. 2 Samuel chapter 11. 2 Samuel chapter 11. Reading verses 2 to 4. Partie du deuxième au quatrième verset. Then it happened one evening. Un soir. That David arose from his bed. David se leva de sa couche. And walked on the roof of the king's house. Et comme il se promenait sur le toit de sa maison royale. Now the king's house was not a ground story building. La maison royale n'était pas juste à bas niveau. If you think this church is tall, the king's house is probably taller. Si vous pensez que cette église est élevée en hauteur, mais la maison royale était très élevée que cette église. And I don't think they had binoculars in those days. Et je ne pense pas qu'ils avaient euh, des, des, des points de signaux à ce temps-là. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Let's read on. Continuons la lecture. So David is walking on the roof of the king's house. Alors David se promenait sur le toit de sa maison royale. And from the roof he sees a woman bathing. Il aperçut de là une femme qui se baignait. And the woman was very beautiful to behold. Et elle était belle de figure. You see, when the devil wants to really tempt you, tu sais, quand le diable veut vraiment te tenter, he knows how to make a speck look like a football before you. Il sait comment faire à ce qu'une chose paraisse comme euh, il, fait, il veut. Il fait à ce qu'une chose paraisse comme la vraie. So he's standing right up there on the top of the roof of the palace. Alors il se tenait du haut du toit de sa maison. Looking over his kingdom. Alors il était en train de contempler son royaume. And guess what catches his attention? Et devinez qu'est-ce qui a attiré son attention? And he managed to even notice that she was beautiful. Et il a, il a même, il a dit que cette femme était même belle. So David inquired about the woman. Alors David fit demander qui était cette femme. And someone said, is that not Bathsheba? Et on lui dit, n'est-ce pas Bathsheba? The daughter of Eliam, la fille d'Eliam, the wife of Uriah the Hittite. La femme du riz le Hétien. Then David sends messengers and took her. Et David envoie des gens pour la chercher. And she came to him. Elle vint vers lui. And he laid with her. Et il couchait avec elle. For she was cleansed of her impurity. Après cette purifié de sa souillure. And she returns to her house. Elle retourna dans sa maison. David slips. David, David coucha. David makes a mistake. David commit cette erreur. And as the story goes, Alors que continue, Bathsheba gets pregnant. Bathsheba fut, 
grosse. And she sends a message to David. Et elle envoie un message à David. David, I am carrying your child. David, je porte ton enfant. So David is now worried. Alors David maintenant est inquiet. He's desperate for a solution. Il était inquiet pour chercher comment trouver la solution. So he craftily plans something. Alors il a planifié quelque chose. He sends word to the battlefield. Il a envoyé ses guerriers à, au champ de bataille. Asking to send her husband back home. Enfin de faire revenir le mari de la femme Bathsheba. And when Uriah arrives. Et quand Uri uh, retourna vers le royaume. David says, Uriah, I heard good reports about you. Il dit, Uri, j'ai entendu uh, des, des bons rapports sur toi. You're a brave man fighting for your country. Tu es un grand guerrier te battant pour ta nation. You have earned some time off. Tu as eu à remporter des de, de moments de victoire. I want you to take a short break, get some rest. Mais je voudrais que tu te reposes un peu. Go home. Va, va chez toi. Be with your wife for a little while. Sois avec ta femme pour un moment. All this while he's scheming at the back of his mind. C'est en fait le plan de David qui était en train de monter dans sa tête. That if Uriah went home and slept with his wife, then he can say that the child was not his anymore. Pour que uh, le temps que Uri rentrera chez lui, coucher avec sa femme, David dira que l'enfant n'était pas pour lui. But the devil is very crafty. Mais le diable est très rusé. Once he gets you hooked on. Une fois qu'il t'accroche, he is not going to let you go easily. Il va pas te laisser facilement. He was determined to make David pay for it. Il était déterminé à faire payer cela à David. So as the story goes, alors que l'histoire continue, Uriah does not go home. Uri n'est pas rentré chez lui. Instead, he decides to camp outside the palace. Il fait des de, 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 de marcher en dehors du royaume, David de la maison royale. David wakes up bright and early. David wakes up bright and early. David se leva très tôt le matin. He feels refreshed. He thinks that everything is okay. Il s'est senti ok. Il pensait que tout marchait bien. But then he gets the news that Uriah did not go home. Alors il a appris la nouvelle que Uri n'était pas rentré chez lui. And suddenly all the worry is back again. Et soudainement toutes les inquiétudes reviennent encore dans, dans sa suddenly vie. Suddenly the situation is back in his face. Et soudainement la situation l'a encore frappé. And he's now wondering what to do. Et bien, s'est demandé que faire. So he does something that he should never have done. Alors il a fait quelque chose qui n'était pas censé faire. He sends word to his general in the battlefield. Il a envoyé une parole à son général qui est au champ de bataille. He says take Uriah and put him right in the front lines. Il dit prenez Uri et le mettez-le en premier plan. And when you charge the enemy. Et quand vous allez attaquer les ennemis. At a certain point I want you to retreat and let him be there et out there. Et instant moi je voudrais que vous puissiez reculer et le laisser lui-même aller devant. Let him get killed in battle. Et le c'est qu'il soit euh, tué au champ de bataille. And that's exactly what happens. Et c'est ce qui a été fait. And now Bathsheba is a widow. Et Bathsheba euh, devient une veuve. And David is free to make her his wife. Et David était maintenant libre de faire d'elle sa femme. And that's another thing that David did wrong. Et c'est une autre chose que David a, a fait de mauvaise manière. And at this time, the devil is having a party. Et en ce temps-là, le diable était content. He is rejoicing, he's celebrating. Il était heureux, célébrant. He feels that finally I have crushed the lineage of Jesus. Il a senti que finalement j'ai euh, anéanti la lignée de Jésus. Because the prophecy said that Jesus will come through the lineage of David. Parce qu'elle a dit que Jésus devait venir à travers la lignée de David. But little does he realize. Mais ce qu'il savait pas. That God knows the end from the beginning. C'est que Dieu connaît la fin dès le commencement. God knows how to take your mess and turn it into your success. Dieu sait comment changer tes désordres en, en un succès. And even though David sinned, même si David a péché, even though he con- co- committed adultery and murder, même s'il a commis le meurtre et l'adultère, and in the bargain had to marry Bathsheba. Et après il devait maintenant marier et épouser Bathsheba. God uses the the union of david and bathsheba Dieu a utilisé cette union de david et bathsheba to bring for two sons pour donner naissance à deux enfants out of the other children that they had two names are very prominent here de tous les enfants qu'ils avaient à deux noms qui sont euh, trop euh, prominents en ce lieu the first is solomon le premier salomon through whose lineage comes joseph à travers cette lignée vient joseph the second one le deuxième if i get this right si je vais bien prononcer cela the second one is uh, is is nathan Nathan, le in, deuxième s'appelait Nathan. Whose lineage comes Mary? Uh, de, 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 de sa lignée vient Marie. Do you see what happened here? Est-ce qu'on voit ce qui s'est passé? God takes the mess. Dieu prend ce désordre. And brings forth a blessing. Et amène une bénédiction au travers. Through David and Bathsheba. À travers l'union de David et Bathsheba. The parents of Jesus come les, about. Les parents de Jésus sont venus de là. And it is Mary and Joseph that bring Jesus up. Et c'est Marie et Jésus qui ont élevé Jésus sur terre. And what the devil thought he had in triumph. 
Est-ce que Jésus et le diable a pensé vaincre? Actually turned out to move into the plan of God. En réalité, ça concourit au plan de Dieu. And guess who was left as a fool at that point? Qui est resté comme un insensé à ce point-là? Guess who was left as a fool at that point? Et qui est resté comme un insensé à ce point-là? It was the devil. C'était le diable. He thought he had the victory. Il pensait qu'il a vaincu. But God turned it out. Mais Dieu a renversé la situation. Into a different story. Avec une histoire différente. He took a mess. Il a pris ce désordre. And brought forth the promise. Et a amené la, 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 la promesse. That is exactly the kind of God you serve. C'est exactement le, le type de Dieu que tu sers. Regardless of the mess in your life. Ne tenez pas compte de, de ce désordre. If he is the Lord of your life, he knows how to take your mess and bring out the promise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. We move on in our story. And we come to the scene where Mary is, is, now, in, in, is, is now here. She's a beautiful young woman. Not yet engaged or married. And the angel of the Lord appears to her. And we read Luke chapter 1. 30 to 33. Du 30e au 33e verset. And this is what it's saying. Que la Bible dit. Then the angel said to her, L'ange lui dit, Do not be afraid, Mary. Ne crains point, Marie. For you have found favor with God. Car tu as trouvé grâce devant Dieu. And behold, you will conceive in your womb. Et voici, tu deviendras enceinte. And bring forth a son. Et tu enfanteras un fils. And shall call his name Jesus. Et tu lui donneras le nom de Jésus. He will be great. Il sera grand. And he will be called the son of the highest. Et il sera appelé fils du très haut. And the Lord God will give him the throne of his father David. Et le Seigneur lui donnera le trône de David son père. And he will reign over the house of Jacob il forever. Il régnera sur la maison de Jacob éternellement. And his kingdom there will be no end. Et son règne n'aura point de fin. The word comes out to Mary. La parole fut adressée à Marie. A young woman, une jeune fille, not yet married or engaged. Qui n'était pas encore engagée ni moins mariée. And immediately the devil began strategizing once again. Et immédiatement le diable a commencé à planifier des stratégies. He knows that when God said it, he will do it. Il savait que tout ce que Dieu dit fait. So the first strategy he tries. La première stratégie qu'il a mise en place. Is to disgrace her name. C'était de donner honte à ce nom. Because in those days, if a young woman was found with child outside marriage, she would be taken out of the city and stoned to death. And this is exactly what the devil was scheming. But God had better plans. God turned it around and Joseph takes Mary to be his wife. And once again, the devil's plan fails. Et encore une fois, le plan de l'ennemi a, a, a échoué. So what does he do next? Alors qu'est-ce qu'il a fait par après? He goes and stirs the heart of King Herod. Il a, a, il a excité le, le cœur du roi Hérode. And Herod passes a decree. Et Hérode a, de, a fait un décret. That every child, que tout enfant, below the age of two, qui est en dessous de l'âge de deux ans, is to be put to death. Devait être tué. Is to be killed. Devait être tué. And this gruesome act is carried out across the kingdom. But God is our shield and our protector. Mais Dieu est notre bouclier, notre protecteur. If he says something, it will always come to pass. Si une chose, la chose va toujours s'accomplir. God in his divine protection keeps his angels around Joseph, Mary and Jesus and takes them out of that situation. Dieu dans sa divine protection a disposé les anges pour la, la sécurité de la ville, les amener en dehors de la ville. So now the devil decides to do something else. Et là, le diable a planifié de faire quelque chose d'autre. He decides to look for a different strategy. Il a décidé de planifier une autre stratégie. In fact, you know something about this devil. En fait, vous savez quelque chose sur le diable. The number of centuries that he's alive on this earth. Que le nombre de, de siècles qu'il est vivant sur terre. He never comes up with anything new. Il n'a jamais amené quelque chose de nouveau. He uses the same old things again and again. Il utilise les mêmes anciennes stratégies encore et encore. So he decides to find a weakness in Jesus. Alors il a décidé de trouver une faiblesse en Jésus. He decides to make Jesus commit sin. Il a décidé de, de faire tomber Jésus dans le péché. So a time comes when Jesus is 30 years old. Alors le temps vint où Jésus avait 30 ans. And he goes down to the river Jordan. Et il alla vers le, uh, la mer du Jourdain. And he gets water baptized. Et fut baptisé. And the Bible said that he is led by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tested. Et là, dit qu'il 
fut amené par l'esprit dans le désert afin qu'il soit tenté. And, and the devil uses every possible strategy he knows. Et le diable utilisait toutes les possibilités nécessaires qu'il connaissait. But in everything that he throws at Jesus. Mais dans tout ce qu'il a planifié comme stratégie pour le faire tomber. Jesus combats it back with the word of God. J Jésus a répliqué avec la parole de Dieu. Every time he brings something around, Jesus says, "It is written." À chaque fois qu'il a tenté en utilisant la parole, Jésus réplique aussi en disant, il est aussi écrit. If you want to know the secret of how to overcome sin, si tu veux savoir le secret sur comment vaincre le péché, place the word of God deep in your heart. Place ta parole profondément dans ton cœur. King David said, I kept your word in my heart that I will not sin against you. Je garde ta parole dans mon, dans mon cœur pour que je ne pêche pas contre toi. Yes, he did fall. C'est vrai qu'il n'est pas, qu pas tombé. But David repented before God. C'est vrai que David a eu à tomber un moment, mais il est encore répondu devant Dieu. We may not be perfect. Peut-être nous sommes pas parfaits. But our God is a God of who forgives. Mais notre Dieu c'est un Dieu qui pardonne. But we never take that for granted. Mais nous prenons pas cela pour un acquis. Take the example from the life of Jesus. Prenez l'exemple de la vie de Jésus. Every time you are faced with a situation. À chaque fois que tu affrontes une situation. Let the word arise from within. Laisse que la parole monte de toi. And speak into your situation. Et déclare-la dans ta situation. That it is written que il est écrit it is written il est écrit that i will be the head and not the que tail que je serai la tête et non pas la queue that i am the first and not the last que je suis le premier et non pas le dernier that i am a child of god que je suis le fils de it dieu it is written il est écrit it is written il est écrit and this is exactly what jesus came back to the devil with et c'est exactement la manière dont jésus répliquait au tentation du diable in every temptation that was thrown at him dans chaque tentation que le diable a présenté devant and lui and finally that jesus turns around to the devil and says in Matthew chapter 4 reading verses 10 to verses 11 Jesus said to him away from you Satan for it is written you shall worship the Lord your God and him only shall you serve and the devil left him behold angels came and ministered to him You have the authority tu as to speak to your situation, de à ta situation, to speak to your temptation, de à ta temptation, and tell it in the name of Jesus. Et de le dire au nom de Jésus, it is written. Il est écrit, you will get away from me tu vas te retirer de moi, because I am more than a conqueror in Christ. En Christ. Jesus used the word, Jésus a utilisé la parole, but it was not over yet. Mais ce pas encore fini. Over the next three years of his ministry, Et pendant les trois années de ministère de Jésus, the devil kept receiving very disturbing reports from what was happening around. Le diable a continué encore à amener des mauvais rapports sur ce qui s'est passé en ce temps-là. The spirit of sickness came running. Et l'esprit de maladie frappait le monde. The spirit of blindness came running. L'esprit de cécité frappait le monde. The spirit of lameness came running. L'esprit de paralysie frappait le monde. The spirit of leprosy came running. L'esprit de lèpre frappait le monde. All crying out. Tout le monde a pleuré. Jesus. Jésus. Is chasing us out. Et il est en train de nous pourchasser. Jesus. Jésus. Is setting the people free. Il est en train d'affranchir les gens. One day even the spirit of death came running. Un jour même l'esprit de mort a frappé le monde. And he began telling Satan. Il a commencé à dire au diable. Satan, you got to do something about this Jesus. Tu dois faire quelque chose avec ce Jésus. I tried to hold a man in his grave for more than four days. J'essaie de le retenir dans son tombeau pour plus de trois jours. His name was Lazarus. Et son nom était Lazare. Four days, Satan. Quatre jours, Satan. Nobody comes back from the dead after four days. Personne n'a pu sortir de son tombeau après quatre jours. But this Jesus. Mais ce Jésus. He comes and calls his name. Il est venu et appelait son nom. And whatever I did, I could not hold him down. Et tout ce que j'ai fait, je n'ai pas pu le retenir. He was wrapped from head to toe. Il a été enroulé de sa tête vers ses, ses, ses orteils. With no place to move his legs. Il n'y avait aucun moyen qui ne bouge ses pieds. And even then, we could not hold him back. Et même de cette manière, on n'a pas pu le retenir. You have to do something about Jesus. Tu dois faire quelque chose pour ce Jésus. Another time, a legion of demons came running into hell. Et à un autre moment, une légion de démons sortit pour déranger Jésus. You got to do something about Jesus. He chased us out from our body into swines and now we are without a home. Il nous a sorti de notre corps, nous a chassé dans ses ports, mais maintenant on n'a plus d'espoir. The devil got mad. Et le diable était devenu fou. He said no more delegation. Il a dit il n'y a plus rien à faire. I am going to handle this matter myself. Je vais moi-même 
prendre contrôle de ceci. So what does he do? Alors qu'est-ce qu'il a fait? He begins by turning the heart of one of the disciples. Il a commencé par changer le cœur d'un de ses disciples. His name was Judas. Son nom était Judas. He turns the heart of a disciple of Christ to betray his master. Il a changé le cœur de David de, de Judas et des disciples de Jésus pour qu'ils puissent trahir Jésus. He influences the closest to Jesus to betray him not once not twice but three times il a influencé un de proche de Jésus pour qu'il puisse le régner non une fois mais trois fois everybody who Jesus considered family he took them away from him tout celui que Jésus considérait comme étant une famille les a éloignés de lui he left him alone il a laissé seul and he said no no quick death for him et il a pris et il a c'est une mort subite pour lui. I am going to make him suffer. Je vais le faire souffrir. But little did the devil realize. Mais le diable ce qu'il ne réalisait pas. That he was fulfilling God's plan for salvation. Il était en train d'accomplir le plan de Dieu pour le salut. He was fulfilling the prophecy by Isaiah. Il était en train d'accomplir la prophétie de Dieu dit dans le livre d'Isaïe. What did Isaiah say? Qu'est-ce que Isaïe dit? In 53 verses 5. Isaïe 53 5. But he was wounded for our transgressions. Il a été brisé pour He was bruised for our iniquities. Brisé pour nos iniquités. The chastisement of our peace was placed upon him. Le châtiment de notre paix était placé sur lui. And by his stripes we are healed. Et par ses maîtrisures nous sommes guéris. The devil thought he was having a fun day. Le diable pensait qu'il était en train d'avoir une journée d'amusement. By having the Son of God beaten. En, en, en faisant frapper le fils de Dieu. By having his back ripped apart by the lashes. En, en faisant euh, déchirer la peau du, du, de, de Jésus. If you read that chapter right up to verse 12, you see all that Isaiah prophesied was being fulfilled si on Jesus. Si vous lisez ce que tout ce que le prophète Isaïe a prophétisé était accompli sur Jésus. A person who knew no sin was made sin so that we could have the righteousness of Christ. Une personne qui n'a pas connu le péché a été fait euh, fait a été fait pécheur pour que nous soyons sauvés. In his anger, in his rage, the devil was actually fulfilling the word of God. Et dans cette colère que le diable avait, il était en train d'accomplir la promesse de Dieu. He was broken for our transgressions. Il a été brisé pour nos transgressions. Oh my God, he was bruised for your iniquity. Notre Dieu a été brisé pour nos iniquités. The chastisement of your peace, he took upon his body. Le châtiment qui nous donne la paix, euh, Dieu a pris cela sur son corps. And every stripe that he received on his back. Et chaque Every stripe that ripped the flesh off his back. He took it for the healing of you and me. Every sickness, every disease, he took it upon him for you and me. Il a pris chaque maladie, il a pris sur lui toute maladie pour toi et moi. And then he went to the cross. Et il est parti à la croix. It was not a slow death. Ce n'était pas une mort subite. It took hours. Ça a pris les heures. It was a painful journey. C'était un parcours pénible. All the way people ridiculing him. Et durant son parcours, les gens étaient en train de crier sur lui. The very people who Jesus loved. Les mêmes personnes que Jésus a aimées. The very people whom he comforted. Les mêmes personnes qui ont été réconfortées par Jésus. The very ones whom he healed. Les mêmes personnes qui ont été guéries par Jésus. All of them crying, crucify him. Et durant sa passion vers la croix, il a, ils ont crié, crucifiez-le. The devil turned religion around against the king. Et la religion, il a, il a, il a changé le cœur de, de, de ceux qui étaient religieux contre le roi. Like a lamb to the slaughter, he was led. Et la Bible dit comme, comme un agneau amené vers l'abattoir. But God knew what he was doing. Mais Jésus savait ce qu'il était en train de faire. And there on the cross. Et là, euh, sur la croix. Jesus looked up to heaven. Jésus leva ses yeux vers le ciel. Eh? And with the last breath, et avec ce dernier souffle, he cries, "Father." Il a crié, Père. With a loud voice, he cries, "Father." D'un cri, uh, il dit, Père. In your hands, il dit, entre tes mains. I place my spirit. J'abandonne mon esprit. In your hands, entre tes mains. I place my spirit. J'abandonne mon esprit. And Jesus dies. Et Jésus mourut. And at that moment, et à ce temps-là. The devil began celebrating. Le diable a commencé à célébrer. He thought he had won. Il pensait qu'il a, il a vaincu. He thought it was over. Il pensait que c'était fini. Everybody scattered around. Et tout le monde était éparpillé. Nobody wanted to stand out there except 
Jesus' mother and a few others. Personne ne voulait se tenir à part Marie, la mère de Jésus et quelques-uns. Everybody was saying, was this the Messiah? Tout le monde disait, est-ce celui-ci le, le Messie qui devait venir? We thought he was going to come down from that cross. Nous pensions qu'il allait descendre de sa croix. They all began doubting who Jesus was. Tout le monde a commencé de douter sur Jésus. And the devil was rejoicing. Et le diable était en train de célébrer. But then there was a rumble in hell. Mais il y a eu un programme dans le dans, dans, il y avait un trouble dans le dans l'enfer. And began right at the back. Et partant de l'arrière. The demons began trembling. Le diable et le, les démons commençaient à trembler. And very soon celebration became chaos. Et les, les, les mêmes gens qui célébraient sont tombés dans le chaos. Why? Pourquoi? Because somebody came into hell. Parce que quelqu'un est descendu dans les enfers. Suddenly there was a light in the darkness. Soudainement il y a eu la lumière dans les ténèbres. And there stood Jesus. Et Jésus se tint. If you read 1 Peter 3 verses 18 to 20 it tells you about this. Si vous lisez 1 Pierre 3 et 8 dit, parle de cela. And he walked He walks up to the devil. And he walks up to the devil. Et allant vers le diable. And he takes back the keys. Et il reprit la clé. Of death and Hades. De la mort et de 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 l'enfer. And triumphantly he rises out of that grave. Et avec triomphe il se tient encore il se leva. Death could not hold him down. La mort n'a pas pu le retenir. The grave could not keep him back. Le tombeau n'a pas pu le retenir. They rolled a huge stone across it. Ils ont roulé la, la, ils ont roulé la, la, une pierre devant They son tombeau. They placed the mighty Roman seal upon that tomb. Ils ont placé deux Romains devant lui pour vérifier sa tombe. They placed their best guards at the doorpost. Ils ont placé deux des meilleurs gardes devant lui pour le But vérifier. But nothing could hold the king. Of King back. Mais rien ne pouvait retenir le roi des rois. Because he rose triumphantly through the grave. Parce qu'il s'est levé avec triomphe de son tombeau. That's the reason why 1 Corinthians chapter 15 says. Voilà pourquoi 1 Corinthians 15 dit. Verses 55 to 57. Verses 55 à 57. Oh death, where is your sting? Mort, où est ton aiguillon? Oh Hades, where is your victory? Et mort, où est ta victoire? The sting of death is sin. De la mort, le péché. And the strength of sin is the law. Et la force du péché, la loi. But thanks be to God Mais soit en Dieu, Père, who gave us the victory la through Christ Jesus our Lord. Le Seigneur, thanks be to my God soit en Dieu, who Père, gave us the victory. La We celebrate the resurrection Nous of Christ la résurrection de Jésus. because Jesus won that victory. Parce que Jésus a cette Jesus victoire. won that victory. Jésus a cette That's victoire. the reason why voilà when anyone of us dies, it is meurt, not over, it is fini. not permanent, because the grave does not have the victory no more, the sting of death has been taken away, because Jesus won it, and he said just as he rose from the grave, the day is coming, when he is going to return as the king of all kings, and the Bible says, the dead in Christ will rise and we who are here on this earth we will join them in celebration we are going to join them in celebration the victory of the grave is in the hands of our Lord it is in the hands of our Lord it's in the hands of our Lord and guess who was made the fool that day oh guess who was made the April fool that day it was none other than that devil he thought he won the victory oh but Jesus showed him who is king hallelujah he showed him who is king amen hallelujah Amen. Today we celebrate the resurrection of Christ. Aujourd'hui nous célébrons la résurrection de Jésus. Many of us are here in church celebrating his resurrection. Nous entendons des églises célébrant sa résurrection. And there are many around the world celebrating the resurrection today. Et il y a beaucoup d'églises qui célèbrent la résurrection à travers le monde. Hallelujah. Amen. We have understood what it meant. Nous avons compris le sens de cette résurrection. We have seen it in our lives. Nous avons vu dans nos vies. We have experienced it. Nous l'avons expérimenté. But how many of us are living it? Mais combien d'entre nous vivent réellement cette résurrection? How many of us are living it? Combien d'entre nous le vivent? That's the reason why Paul says. Voilà pourquoi Paul dit. This life I now live in this body. Et la vie que j'ai dans ce corps. I live it unto God. 
La vie que j'ai, je vis pour Christ. If you have experienced the resurrection of Christ in your life. Si tu as expérimenté la résurrection de Christ dans ta vie. If you have made him your Lord and Savior. Si tu as fait de lui ton Seigneur et ton Sauveur. Then you are a new creation. Tu es une nouvelle créature. You are a new creation. Tu es une nouvelle créature. Which means that your old life has passed away. C'est fait que ton ancienne vie est passée. This life you now lead needs to be a new one. La vie que tu vis doit être une nouvelle vie. But many times we take it lightly. Mais nous prenons cela pour acquis. We treat our salvation carelessly. Nous prenons cela avec légèreté. Nous prenons notre salut sans beaucoup d'attention. We try to enjoy the pleasures of the earth and say that you know what? I will go back to God and say I'm sorry. Nous prenons plaisir de, des choses mondaines et nous disons que nous allons encore rentrer au Seigneur pour demander pardon. Hallelujah. Amen. We sin sometimes deliberately. De fois nous péchons de notre propre gré. And the Bible says. Et la Bible dit. In Hebrews chapter 10, Dans Hebrews chapter 10, 26 and 29. 26 et 29. For if we sin willfully, car si nous péchons volontairement, after we have received the knowledge of the truth, après avoir reçu la connaissance de la vérité, I want every one of you to listen to me today. Je voudrais que chacun d'entre nous m'écoute attentivement. Every single one of you, chacun d'entre nous, who knows Jesus as your Lord and Savior, qui connaît Jésus comme étant son Seigneur, who has sauveur, tasted the grace of God, c'est lui qui a goûté à la grâce de Dieu. This is what God is saying in His Word. Écoutez ce que la Bible dit. If we sin willfully Car si nous péchons volontairement, after we have received the knowledge of the truth après avoir reçu la connaissance de la vérité, then there no longer remains a sacrifice for sin il ne reste plus de sacrifice pour le péché. are you listening to me Est-ce que tu entends cela? go down to verse 29, verse 29 of how much worse punishment do you suppose de quel pire châtiment pensez-vous? will he be thought worthy who has trampled the son of god underfoot que sera jugé digne celui qui aurait foulé au pied le fils de dieu counted the blood of the covenant by which he was sanctified a common thing qui aura tenu pour profane le sang de l'alliance par lequel il a été sanctifié and insulted the spirit of grace et qui aura outragé l'esprit de la grâce this is exactly what our actions do c'est exactement ce que nous faisons par nos actions when we choose to sin Deliberately. Quand nous péchons volontairement. Are you listening to me today? Est-ce que tu m'entends ce matin? The choice to sin or not to sin is yours. Le choix de pécher ou de ne pas pécher te revient. You know the truth. Tu connais la vérité. You have tasted the goodness of God. Tu as goûté à la bonté de Dieu. You know what pleases God and what breaks His heart. Tu connais ce qui plaît à Dieu et ce qui brise son cœur. You know God sees everything. Tu sais que Dieu voit toutes choses. Even in the secret. Même dans le secret. It cannot be hidden from him. Rien ne peut être caché. It cannot be hidden from him. Rien ne peut être caché. Don't sin deliberately. Ne pêche pas volontairement. Because you are trampling the Son of God under your feet. Parce que tu es en train de fouler au pied le Fils de Dieu. And you're treating the blood, his precious blood, as ordinary. Et tu es en train de traiter pour, pour profane le sang de Jésus, ce sang précieux. And you're insulting the Holy Spirit. Et outrager le Saint Esprit. Every time you are at that crossroad. À chaque fois que tu débordes les limites. Let the Scripture come to your mind. Laisse que ta parole te revienne en esprit. Let it come to your mind. Laisse que la parole de Dieu te revienne en esprit. That's why I go back to my first question. Voilà pourquoi je reviens à ma question. That's why I go back to this question. Voilà pourquoi je reviens à cette question. What does the resurrection of Christ Really signify to you. Quel est le sens qu'a la résurrection de Jésus dans ta vie? Is it a life-changing experience? C'est une exp- est-ce que c'est une expérience qui change ta vie? Or is it just tradition? Ou c'est juste une tradition? Because if it's a life-changing experience, parce que c'est une expérience qui change la vie, then you are saying that you are a new creation. Et tu dis que tu es une nouvelle créature. But yet you want to live the old life. Et malgré ça, tu continues à vivre encore ton ancienne vie. It does not work that way. Ça ne marche pas de cette manière. It does not work that way. Ça ne fonctionne pas de la sorte. This resurrection Sunday. Ce dimanche de résurrection. I urge you. Je t'exhorte. Please don't be the April fool. Ne sois pas un insensé. Please don't be the April fool. Ne sois pas un insensé. Because the only person you're fooling is yourself. Parce que la seule personne que tu es en train de tromper ce n'est que toi-même. Don't take God for granted. 
ne prend pas Dieu pour acquis. The Bible says he is not easily mocked. La Bible dit on ne se moque pas de Dieu. You can't live in sin and say I am a child of God. It doesn't work that way. Tu ne peux pas vivre dans le péché et te déclarer être un enfant de Dieu. Ça ne fonctionne pas. A child of God honors his father. Un fils de Dieu honore son père. A child of God desires to make his father proud. Le désir d'un fils de Dieu est de donner cette fierté à son père. And how does he do it? By the life he lives. Your life is your testimony. Your life is your voice. What are you portraying to people around you? The world is celebrating Easter. But we celebrate resurrection. We celebrate resurrection. And this morning we celebrate it with true meaning. That he has risen victorious. My God, my Savior. My King. And my life belongs to him. My life belongs to him. The devil tried to stop Jesus' birth. The devil, devil tried to kill Jesus. And he failed in all of his attempts. But he is determined. He is determined. To not allow you to receive, walk in your full salvation. So he will throw all sorts of temptations at you. The lust of the eyes. We call it eye candy. I can. Oh, I'm sure many of you know what I'm talking about. When you get on your mobiles, when you get on your internet, and you go into those sites, surfing for some eye candy. Oh, trust me. It might seem sweet for the moment, but it'll bring you a lifetime of pain. It'll bring you a lifetime of pain. Remember one thing: your father loves you. He loves you, and he wants the best for you. That's why he's given his Holy Spirit. Who will keep prompting you and whispering in your ears? Don't do that, my son. Don't do that, my daughter. Your father loves you. Your father loves you. Listen to the words of the Holy Spirit. Listen to the words of the Holy Spirit. Don't let the devil fool you. Don't become the April fool. Be victorious for Jesus. Let us stand to our feet as we get ready to close. As the worship team takes the stage, as we have a moment to reflect on our lives, we know ourselves very well. We know the hidden things in our hearts. We know what happened in the yesterdays. We know the compromises we have made in life. All just thinking. Tomorrow I will be different. Tomorrow I will change. Tomorrow I will be the Christian that God wants me to be. The Bible says nobody knows that there will be a tomorrow. Nobody knows if there will be a tomorrow. Make today count. C'est le moment de faire à ce que ton présent compte. Live a life of testimony for God. Vis une vie de témoignage pour Dieu. Let the world see the resurrected Christ in you. Laisse que le monde voie le Christ ressuscité en toi. Let them see the resurrected Christ in you. Laisse qu'ils voient le Christ ressuscité en toi. May your life be the testimony. Et laisse que ta vie soit un témoignage. Let's worship God. Adorons Dieu. He's where we come to offer praise and seek wisdom. Yeah, you have to the
presence, my God, is where I long to be. Father, we come, we cast ourselves down at your feet. We cry, holy, you are holy. There is none like you. Il n'y a personne comme toi. My God in your presence. Et je me tiens à ta présence. Every single day of our life. Chaque jour de ma vie. It is in your presence. C'est dans ta présence. Every moment we are awake. Chaque moment nous sommes debout. Every breath that we have in our body. Chaque souffle que nous avons. We want to spend it in your presence. Nous voulons passer cela dans ta présence. As your word says. Alors que ta parole dit. In him we live. We move and we have our being. Oh my God, it is in you. Oh, in your presence. That's where I want to be. That's where I want to be. Father, this day, as we remember what you did, for our salvation pour notre salut you were broken tu as été brisé you were beaten tu as été frappé you were bruised tu as été brisé all just for me et tout cela pour moi you died tu étais parti dans le tombeau and you rose again victorious victorieux that's who you are et c'est celui que tu es that's who you are et c'est lui que tu es the true and living king Le vrai est le Dieu, le roi vivant. And it's in your presence, my God. Et c'est dans ta God. That's where I will always be. Et c'est là où je serai pour toujours. I pray that today onwards. Je prie qu'à date de ce jour. We will live as resurrected children of God. Que nous vivons comme des enfants ressuscités de as Dieu. As testimonies to the world. Comme des témoignages pour le monde. That the Jesus. Que Jésus. Whom the world crucified. Celui que le monde a crucifié. Lives in inside of me vi en nous lives inside of me vi en nous oh my god mon dieu be glorified que tu sois glorifié be glorified be que tu sois glorifié be glorified sois glorifié and may my life et laisse que ma vie bring you delight amen to plaisir in jesus name i pray amen 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 let's give the lord a clap of praise today Let's hear a shout of celebration today. A shout of celebration. Hallelujah. Wishing you a happy resurrected Sunday. Vous souhaitez un dimanche de résurrection. Hallelujah. Be seated. Be seated for a moment. Vous vous asseoir pour un moment. Is there anybody celebrating their birthdays on this resurrection day? Y a-t-il quelqu'un qui fête son anniversaire en ce dimanche de résurrection? All through the rest of the week. Ou durant toute cette semaine. I know I'm wondering where he ran off to. He's hiding on top. Hey, Elisha. Don't get raptured so fast. The chariot has not yet arrived. Okay. I'm still waiting for him. I don't know where he is. But if you see him outside, catch his hand, shake him, and say, "Welcome back to Earth." <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah! As 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 some of our brothers come and join us in the front, let's wish them a happy birthday. Est-ce qu'on peut leur faire le souhait? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Is there anyone celebrating the wedding anniversaries? Any anniversaries? De mariage. No anniversaries. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Okay. Women's fellowship will be on the 7th of April. 
La rencontre de toutes les femmes de l'église sera euh, le 7. Saturday at 11 in the morning. Le samedi à 11h. So can I encourage the women in this church to come and gather here and be blessed? J'encourage toutes les femmes de l'église à venir ensemble et être bénies. Anybody here for the first time in Zion family, could you just slip up your hands because we just want to welcome you. Qui est ici pour sa première fois à Zion? Family, can we give them a loud welcome this morning? Hallelujah. Amen. I hope you are blessed today. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's stand and receive the benediction this morning. Now unto him who is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the Father. May His Spirit go with you helping you to live victorious and may your life be a testimony for the God bringing glory, honor and praise to His holy name. May He be glorified through everything in your life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Have a blessed week ahead. I'll see you all on Tuesday and Wednesday at 6.30. Et on se voit le mardi et mercredi à 18h30.